The following is an extract from a document titled Proposed Shopping Facilities Elizabeth, South Australia, first made available at the Information Centre of the South Australian Housing Trust in Adelaide on the 13th of September 1960. Elizabeth is a new town some 17 miles north of Adelaide. Its 8,268 acres of land purchased by the South Australian Housing Trust have been planned by the Trust for a population of 50,000 people and will be over three times as large as the largest existing centre of population in the state after Adelaide itself. Elizabeth is situated between the towns of Salisbury and Smithfield and adjacent to the Weapons Research Establishment, one of the most important defence units in the British Commonwealth. It is on the mainline railway to the northern towns, to New South Wales, Western Australia and Alice Springs, and the Main North Road, one of the chief traffic arteries of the state, runs through the length of the town area. In addition to the existing weapons research establishment and its associated contractors, which together provide employment for a considerable number of townspeople, two large and one small industrial areas have been provided in the master plan. General Motors Holdens Limited purchased 290 acres as a major step in the company's plans for expansion in South Australia and has already opened its first phase plant. This company recently announced an expansion program at Elizabeth to provide a factory for assembling, painting and trimming of car bodies. This new building will have a floor area of nearly 600,000 square feet. The administrative building will be doubled in size and a new cafeteria built. This expansion program is planned to be completed in 1963. Several other companies have also commenced operations at Elizabeth. The Pinnock Manufacturing Company is assembling sewing machines. Bruins Containers is manufacturing packaging materials. Kenwood Manufacturing is manufacturing food mixes and other equipment for household food preparation. The Schrader Scoville Company will manufacture air control valves. Ready Mixed Concrete Limited is in operation and Wadlow Limited has built a drive-in timber yard. Other national manufacturers are building and planning new factories in the area. Kentish Clothes Limited, James Hardy Limited, Diecasters Limited, Metal Manufacturers Limited and Cable Makers Australia Limited, amongst many others. In addition, manufacturers such as Philips Electrical Industries, Clyde Industries Limited, Ferry Aviation of Australasia Limited are companies which have sites for development. Neighbourhood Shops Elizabeth has been designed with neighbourhoods to accommodate about 5,000 persons and in each of these neighbourhoods will be a shopping centre of some 10 to 18 shops, together with communal facilities such as post office, service station, rent office, banking premises, mothers and babies health association consulting rooms, playing areas and provision for a preschool, kindergarten and buildings for entertainment. Trades to be represented in these centres will cater for the housewife's day-to-day -day needs, but will not be sufficiently comprehensive to make it unnecessary for her to visit the town centre. The trades, some duplicated, will be grocer, butcher, greengrocer, delicatessen, fish, chemist, ladies' hairdresser, gentleman's hairdresser, newsagent and dry cleaner, together in some centres with hardware, draper, cakes, baby wear, hobbies and branch public library. Three of these centres are now in operation with the fourth under construction. In addition to the shops and other facilities, buildings have been erected adjacent to two of the neighbouring shopping centres already completed to provide for light service industries such as motor mechanic, auto electrician, printer, baker and shoe repairer. In the design of the centres, the convenience of the shoppers and of the shopkeepers is regarded as the first consideration. The shops face covered walkways and open spaces from which vehicular traffic is excluded and which can be laid out with gardens and shrubs. Access for delivery of stock is available from roads at rear. Shops have adequate storage space. 
Public conveniences are provided at all centres and will be provided in new centres. Ample car parking space will be available behind the shops in every group with easy access to the walkways. Bus stops and taxi ranks will be suitably placed. These neighbourhood shopping centres will all be built by the Trust and let by tender for the specific trades mentioned for an initial term of three years with right of renewal for five years. The shops designed to date are single-storey lockups. The steel framework of the structure has been based on a module of 20 feet frontage, but the nature of the construction permits a variety of different widths of shops thereby meeting the requirements of individual trades and at the same time, avoiding the monotony of a group of shops all having the same frontage. Houses nearby are made available to the lessees if required. In some cases, where the shape of the neighbourhood is such that a large number of families are more than a few minutes walk from these shopping centres, the day-to-day -day needs of these families will be served by a suitably placed small group of from three to seven shops. Three of these are already open, one of which is designed on the food market principle. Town Centre the major shopping centre will of course be in the town centre and is planned to serve the residents of the surrounding district as well as the residents of Elizabeth, an expected total by 1975 of at least 100,000 people. This is situated where the main north road and the northern railway are closest, less than half a mile apart and almost at the town's geographical centre. As will be seen from the plan, there will be a ring road surrounding the shopping and civic area. It will be 132 feet wide with a central nature strip and will have deceleration lanes at road junctions. This road has already been constructed. Within the ring road on some 80 acres of land will be the civic buildings and main shopping centres, courthouse and public headquarters, post office, hotel, picture theatre, banks, offices, doctors and dentist rooms, and of course, space for car parking. The hotel, which has been operating for two years, has 16 bedrooms, each with a bath, a drive-in bottle department, and parking facilities within its own grounds. There will be a park strip between the main north road and the road fronting the civic buildings. Outside the ring road and near the main railway station will be commercial buildings, and at the north of the ring road, sites for flats and for public buildings. A youth centre and a roller skating rink are already established outside the ring road, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool with squash courts is in course of construction. The shopping area provides space for about 130 shops and stores, with few exceptions Shops will front walkways reserved for pedestrians, free from traffic hazards, paved and relieved by small garden plots. Walkways will generally be 60 feet in width. Service vehicles will have rear access to the shops. Many of the shopping blocks will be built by the Trust, but sites will be available for the larger retail establishments and those who wish to build for themselves, including sites for two large department stores and two chain stores. A site for a furniture store has already been sold. Space near the car parks has been left for supermarkets, following the trend in America for drive-in parcel pickup points, and a special court away from the shopping area has been kept for the banks. This will also permit some drive-in banking facilities if desired. Architectural ingenuity and colour will be employed to produce a pleasing effect, while endeavouring to ensure the convenience of the shopping public. Construction of the first stage of development comprising some 20 shops has begun and will open in November 1960. A start on the second phase of development comprising some 33 shops is planned to commence in 1961. The first group of shops in the town centre is under construction and will be opened in November 1960.